In this lesson, we will continue from where we left off in the previous lesson, but this time in a more uniform manner. The horizon line for this lesson will be placed in the middle, and the vanishing point for the one point perspective will also be at the center. We will then proceed to draw nine different rectangles around the vanishing point three above the horizon, three below it, and three in the center. This will allow us to explore how 3D objects appear from various angles. Just as we did in the previous lesson, we will connect the corners of the rectangles to the vanishing point, or use the style grid to complete the boxes from different perspectives. Here I'm connecting the corners to the vanishing point around the rectangle and ensuring they will all have the same depth to maintain the uniformity in size. To achieve this, we can ensure the first row on top moves backward at the same depth and then we can measure downward toward the bottom row. All these boxes will display a depth from one or two sides. Boxes above and below the horizon line will reveal two additional sides as they recede to the perspective, while those in the center will only show one side. And the box at the exact center will have no visible sides as the rest of the box will be obscured by the front face. Objects will appear smaller as they recede into perspective, as in foreshortening, making the rest of the box too small to be seen behind the front face. After completing the perspective lines, we can add thicker, cleaner lines to the outside of the boxes. And there you have it, all 9 boxes in 1 point perspective are finished. Let's do the same for the 2 point perspective, beginning with the lines, sizes and positions like we did before, but this time connecting them to 2 different vanishing points. I recommend placing each row on a separate layer to avoid confusion with all the perspective lines, because now you can hide them as you move on to the next row. Notice how the top and bottom boxes above and below the horizon display three sides, while those in the horizon line only show two sides. The box in the exact center will display two sides this time, since they are moving in different directions. Additionally, we will see the bottom side in the top row and the top side in the bottom row.
Once all these boxes are complete, we can add some line weight to emphasize the boxes and tidy up the drawing. There you have it, 9 boxes from various angles. Finally, let's move on to the last type of perspective. This time I added a third vanishing point high above the canvas to reduce distortion in the objects. I used the star grid to create the initial lines and then placing them similarly to the previous two examples. All that's left is connecting the corners just like we did in the two point perspective to create three point perspective boxes. You can also create boxes with a third vanishing point below the horizon for a different look. However, whether the third vanishing point is above or below the horizon, the boxes will still behave the same way in relation to the horizon line. As you can see, the boxes above the horizon will display three sides with the bottom side visible, while the opposite is true below the horizon line. The position of the third point doesn't affect this aspect of perspective. It only influences how the vertical lines of the boxes tilt toward that point. I'm now adding the final layer of line weight around the boxes. And now they are complete. And here you can see all three perspective examples presented in a uniform manner. I just want to point out at the end of this session that these boxes do not have only three sides of course. There are three additional sides hidden behind the front faces. You can reveal these internal sides by drawing through the box like we did in the process drawing the box itself. In this example, I'm drawing the standard box that we did before, but after completing the visible parts of the box, I add thick lines for the front faces, and then I indicate the back side of the box using dotted line to represent the hidden faces. Drawing through objects is crucial for more complex shapes that we will explore later. It's essential to consider the object as a whole, not just what we see or what is visible. I just wanted to mention it now so you can keep this in mind for future lessons. I encourage you to try these exercises from this lesson and the one before it and create as many boxes as you can. You can add 40 more boxes all around to create a complete grid of boxes. You can even go further and create a 3D warehouse filled with boxes all around or design your own example and enjoy the process itself. As for the next lesson, we will discuss the principles of perspective which are fundamental for understanding perspective. These principles include overlapping, size of the form, placement of the form, convergence of lines, and foreshortening.
each of which we will cover in its own lesson later. If you find this lesson helpful, please consider leaving a like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to respond as soon as possible. To stay updated on the future lessons, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.